Watch you guys got another video here for you on five things I hate about Windows 11 and possible fixes from Microsoft coming up in the near future. So that's why I wanted to make this video just to point this out to some of you guys. Now, I get asked questions all the time about some of the things that I don't like about it. And again, default apps is one of these. Now, default apps is a place where you can change your default app, say, for instance, Microsoft Edge to uh, Google Chrome or something along those lines. When we go into the default app section, uh, you can click on uh, the apps area. So let's go to apps here and click on apps. And then we can go to default apps. And when we click on here, if you want to change your browser, we all know that you click on this and there will be a ton of uh, links that you have to click on to change to that browser. There's a big, massive list. And this can be quite frustrating. Now, granted, you only have to do this one time if you never change your browser after this. But it's still a bit of a headache to go through here and change all of these one by one. But in the future, Microsoft have released a patch which will fix uh, this issue. It's not an issue itself. Microsoft intended it to be this way. But they have released an update which will actually let you do this with one click. I'll show you that in a future uh, build here, which is going to be released to the general public real soon. When you click on your browser and set your default app, you can go here. And when we go into apps here, when I click on the browser, you should now see up the top set default. You only have to click this and it will automatically change all of these to your default browser. Very quick and easy to do. So thank you for Microsoft for listening to people's feedback and actually making a change on something that people just don't like and wanted it to change. So the next up is the context menu. So if you look here on the right click context menu, you can see that you have to normally click on this a bunch of times to get to where you want to get. So we clicked on the bottom and now we can get access to this secondary menu. Why we need the secondary menu, I do not know but it's what Microsoft's uh, sort of rushed effort was to get the menu system done. So when I right click on this folder, normally I would see seven zip here where I could zip this folder up, but now I have to click on show more and then I get access to the second menu, which just seems like more effort and more work to do something that was a lot quicker. So if you want to uh, go back to a default context menu, you can do like this one here where we can right click and go back to the old school. Uh, menu system and you can uh, generally do this in the registry if you want to see a video on that let me know in the comments section below but microsoft are working on the context menu as we speak and it will be released in a future uh, release next up my another pet hate is the taskbar for some reason you can't drag and drop things onto the taskbar now there is workarounds or again with this you can use a script or a little application which will allow you to drag and drop but again, they won't let you do this. The right click and they've taken out the uh, taskbar settings where you can just right click and open up your task manager. Now you have to go to the start button here. They have added a couple of little bits in here. You still can't put your taskbar on the top of the screen. Uh, they haven't done that yet. And uh, text taskbar behaviors here. You can see it's very minimalistic. There's not a lot happening in here. You can't do a lot with the taskbar. So unless they are going to release something where we can move the taskbar where we want it to be, then that is going to be a big no-no for a lot of people. Next up is the start menu. I think a lot of people will agree with me here that the start menu is just, just too big and lacks any real sort of customization. The recommended section on the bottom is really horrible. You can turn it off, but it just leaves this big blank space here. It just looks like Microsoft haven't put a lot of thought into the release of the start menu. It looks like they've just released it and said, we'll work on this as we go. You can add these little buttons in at the bottom here, but, you know, it's not a game changer. It just really doesn't look polished or finished. It just looks like work in progress to me, and I'm not really a big fan of it. Now, it's a simple fix. You can change this by downloading some software and installing it on your system and it will change your start menu system um, you know so it's entirely up to you whether you go down that route to change it until microsoft makes some major changes of it i wouldn't hold your breath because i don't think it's going to be for a while until they change the shape and look of this uh, type of start menu now there was a way to change uh, to the old style menu in the registry but microsoft have closed that door so you can't do that anymore 
So you will have to use software to change the menu completely if you want to. So that is another thing that I think really sort of gets people's backs up. But hopefully Microsoft uh, do something about this and do make changes to the start menu. It does need some work. And, uh, you know, I thought I might get used to it a little bit, but I just can't. Now, another thing we're going to take a look at is widgets. Now, although I do think widgets are very useful and I do like the idea of widgets, but the size of this thing is just massive. It's taking up near enough half of the screen. And I think that's just too much. Now, I, I know there's a point where uh, you want to just scroll through and read through this. But if you're on a small screen, this is going to be very difficult to uh, see anything else. And if you want to multitask on one single monitor, some people are on a single monitor. They're not going to be able to multitask with this big thing taking up a lot of the real estate. Let me know in the comments section below whether you think this is too big or whether you like widgets or whether you don't like widgets at all and whether it's just easy enough just to go on the internet and do a quick search for the latest news uh, and things like that and have widgets gone to take away the bloat from Windows. Let me know in the comments section below and interested to hear your views on all of these five things that I've mentioned in this video. So hopefully these five things will be rectified in the up and coming releases from Microsoft. Now, if you enjoy this type of content then maybe head over to the channel and check out some of my other videos, there's over 2,500 videos on this channel. There's also plenty of other playlists you can watch all this other content on. Also maybe consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button and hitting that bell notification and click the all button to be notified of all my up and coming video releases. If you want to support me a bit further, you can always hit the join button and uh, join my YouTube members group and have your name up rolling up at the end of the credits on the end of the video. You can cancel at any time. It costs $4.99 a month. You get some loyalty badges and some other emojis and access to the Discord YouTube members section on uh, Discord there. Other than that, my name has been Brian from BradTechComputers.co.uk. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.